What is going on guys? Dayton here with Optic LED and we are checking back in again on the Optic LED Aquarium Grow. So I've shown this one before when I first started this. It was a little less grown in. It has really grown in now. But check this out now. This is like a little underwater jungle. We got fishies are loving it. Our group of uh, endler guppies here. They're growing fast. We're making lots of babies in here. And they like to swim around all the vegetation here. Um, but yeah, check it out. We got these top plants here really grown in. I had to take a bunch out. It was getting really covered in here. So I had to take probably a third of the plants out. So it is really grown in. Uh, these top plants here really help suck up the nitrates uh, that the uh, fishes, you know, fish waste goes through the water. It cycles through and then it turns into nitrates and uh, it is used by the plants to grow. So uh, some people actually use this for their weed. They just scoop out their excess water if they're doing a water change and actually put it in their cannabis. I haven't tried it yet, but I am thinking about it next row. Or if I do some organic stuff or some gardening outdoors, that's definitely something you could do. This is kind of just like my little test uh, grow that I wanted to do with this uh, light. I actually planned it out just for testing this light. So I'm definitely happy with the results I'm getting so far. Really decent growth. Plants are doing really good. Fishies are happy and they're making lots of babies. We can focus on them. We got some rainbow fish here and we got some endler guppies. Some Japanese blue, blue and gold uh, endler guppies. And we got some uh, catfish in here. Some, uh, where are they? There they are. Some little bottom dwelling catfish. We got some Amano shrimp in here doing all the cleanup. Trying to keep down on the algae. And I think we're going to have to go through and do a little trimming on these. Some of them are getting a little too tall. Some of these plants are growing way up and uh, yeah, I think I better trim them back. So I wanted to show you guys before I did that, I wanted to show you how this has grown up right now and it is doing pretty good. We got some we got some of the nice uh, bottom plants. They're starting to grow out nicely, starting to produce offsprings and uh, they produce like shoots and you can see they make like lines and make designs in there. So that's kind of cool. My two main fish I had in here, the Pistogramma cichlids. The tank bosses, I actually took them out because I'm trying to do a breeding project with them. And uh, oh, there it is. That is actually their offspring. Lucky. <laughs> it is, oh, where'd he go? He's very sneaky. He or she, I don't know if you can see him. But that is the one and only Epistogramma baby that made it from the first batch. And looks like it's doing pretty good. It's growing up in here. We did order up some new plants for this tank uh, around the beginning of winter. And when they actually got shipped, they all froze and pretty much all of them died. So this is pretty much all that we have left of everything that lived. Only a few lived. Uh, mostly these are transplants from my other tanks. And uh, looks like they're doing pretty good. I think that was the only one that lived from my shipment. Uh, that and the moss ball. I think that is it. But we're definitely going to be ordering up a bunch more kind of harder to grow plants that need uh, stronger lights like this. So when it gets a little warmer, we're going to throw some more exotic kind of plants in here and see how they do. And we'll show you guys an update once we start doing that. So stay tuned guys. And this is the other setup we got here with the Slim 100 H bar. Got it on this uh, 30 gallon tank. The other tank is a 40 gallon. So this one I think is actually same height or maybe a little bit higher. But what we got in here is uh, some kind of more easier plants. Uh, mostly just these, uh, forget what they're called, but these kind of grow just like weeds because we have just sand in here. So there's no nutrients in this. The other tank has nutrients in its soil. So it's a lot easier for stuff to grow. This is pretty much like the easiest plants you can grow that I have. We got some top plants going. We got some uh, tiger endlers in here that stay up the top. And these fish down here are my shell dweller African cichlids. They uh, form colonies and uh, are actually pretty fun to watch. They uh, dig around the dirt, they build mounds 
This one here, this uh, male has built a big hill to protect its territory and kind of covering up this one. One of our other fish, I think, died. It just disappeared one day. And I actually think that this fish is covering up this area because it might have died in its shell. And uh, we were wondering that the other day. I was like, where did that fish go? Then we realized it's completely covering this area up. Before, there was a big indent here, a big, uh, you know, a bowl. Now it's all covered up and this guy's like taken over the territory. Pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, we got a nice little colony form in here. Plants are growing decently. They like to swim around the plants and eat stuff off them. Little microorganisms growing in them and whatnot. Great little fun hobby. Seems like everyone kind of picked up a new hobby while being, uh, you know, locked up in the house for a while there over the last year. So I'm happy I could find a new uh, use for this light. And we're getting some awesome growth. So yeah, if you guys are ever interested in using one of these lights for aquarium, definitely you could. Uh, I think these actually would be better for bigger tanks like 55, 65 gallon tanks, 75 gallon tanks, the deeper ones. I think it would probably be a little more suited for that. I have mine kind of turned down a bit, so it's not full power. I'll definitely do a couple more updates on these uh, these tanks and how they're going along. And of course, see what other kind of fancy plants we can get grown here, some tropical stuff. But yeah guys, that is the update with the Slim 100H bar light here in the aquariums. Hope you guys like this little update and uh, let me know if you guys want more. So until next time guys, peace out, catch you guys later.